Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver yeah, now. We're roadtoruda.com. Yay! They slammed the price of gold and silver. Good job, criminals. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you why I'm saying that. The um, India had gone silent. The IIBX exchange uh, over in India. Look at that. Total lots traded. Zero, zero, zero. This has gone on for a week. Why has it gone on for a week? Because the price was over, hovering around $25. As they slam it down, India will take as much silver as the idiotic Western system wants to give them. They will, I guarantee you, there's your guarantee. In 2024, they will import over 300 million ounces of silver. 300 million. They did it two years ago, and everybody's like, oh, my God. They did it without the price of silver moving. They're going to do it again because these criminals, the commercial shorts were massively short because of the rise up. That's how they stopped the rise. They short it, they short it, they short it, and then they get people to say, oh, Silver's going to crash. They start the crash. Everybody starts selling, and then they buy up their shorts. It's happened time and time again since, I, you know, I mean, at least since the derivatives and silver, silver really started determining price. That's the early 1970s using Alan Greenspan's trading programs at the Fed. It, it goes on. The same thing. Ted Butler nails it. He, he gets it every time. He even said yesterday's news, like, well, look out, because the price went up. That means the commercial is shorted, and they're going to slam it. And here we have the slam. Um, the good news is, for all you silver investors, you get cheaper silver. Hey, all you solar people, all you green lovers, you get cheaper cheaper, cheaper silver. You can make another, what? Uh, I'm estimating, I'll estimate right here, 600 gigawatts. We did 422, blew the mind out of everybody, 442 in 2023. The uh, Silver Institute and Metals Focus didn't, hasn't told anybody yet. Um, but that's what we'll do because the world knows now. You want cheap silver? Go to the COMEX. Go to the Western exchanges. <laughs> they aren't even exchanges. It's criminal futures and options. Um the U.S. Mint is doing their part, by the way. The U.S. Mint has stopped making Silver Eagles again. They're doing their part. Yeah, they're, they're making, watch, this month, March will be 1.7 uh, million Silver Eagles. That's one half. It's less than one half of their production capacity. They And, and they don't even hide it. Look at this. 8,500, double that is 17, 1.7 million. I guarantee you by the end of March, we're going to see 8,500 again, another 1.7 million. This is how the criminals work. And in the background, as they're selling the silver, they're not closing out their derivative positions. That's why they lost so much money in the derivative position a couple years ago when the price was going down. This is what Rustin Benham calls the structure of the market was able to tamp down the price of silver. <laughs> the good thing for you, you weren't going to sell it tomorrow anyway. Now you can go buy some more. I highly suggest all you crypto people, especially Bitcoin, um, diversify and do as much silver as possible. If you want, I mean, it's going to take a lot for Bitcoin to double from whatever it is, uh, close to $70,000. That's $140,000. It's not going to take a lot for silver to double. It'll still be below its, what is it, 44-year all-time high. <laughs> this is the trade of a century, all you crypto people. Just do it. If you love Bitcoin, go put all your Bitcoin into silver now. When silver pops, go back and buy 10 times as much Bitcoin as you had before. How's that? Um, I wouldn't sell any Theta. Theta fuel, T-drop, though. I mean, in, those are so massively undervalued. Uh, the biggest money in the world will be scrambling for those. They don't know about it yet, but they almost do. Uh, the Franklin, Temple, Franklin Templeton um, CEO came out and described exactly what Theta does. So it is on the radar of the massive, massive money people. They're like, how do I get it? Well, let's try to slam the price down. By the way, Theta did the same thing. Uh, look what happened in the last seven days. They slammed the price all the way down to $2.43. That's ridiculous. I, I mean, you know, hey, if, if you want to give away your... See, none, this is all computers and derivatives. Very few actual chairs 
shares or tokens trade hand. Look at the volume. 132 million in the last 24 hours. That's ridiculous. And it's not true. It's high frequency traders rigging the market. It's good for you that they slam it. It means you can get more. Right now, I'd be buying T fuel because the ratio is way out of whack. It's at like 35 to 1. It should be around 10 to 15 to 1 in my estimation. Ultimately, it'll be 5 or 6 to 1 when AI kicks in and everybody needs T fuel to do an AI transaction. So go check it out. Um, anyway, let's just look at silver again. Rust and Benham can't see this. Even though everybody said, hey, look at the commercials. Look at the handful of commercials. This is four to eight banks, and we know who they are. We listed them all the time. The kingpin is J.P. Morgan Chase. J.P. Morgan Chase has a massive day on Monday. They'll find out whether or not the Department of Justice reopens the silver manipulation, silver, gold, and treasury manipulation uh, lawsuit. The one they pay $920 million, they, they have violated the deferred prosecution agreement. Literally, the uh, Federal Reserve and the Office of Comptroller and Currency just busted them again for doing that. So the DOJ has no choice, in my opinion. They have to make a decision on Monday because that's when they either release them from the liability or they reopen the case. I don't think they can release them, especially with the OCC and the Fed coming down on J.P. Morgan. So, yes, of course they're going to slam the price of silver. Get your last licks in as much as you can because you're going to jail anyway. So load up, the, load up the truck on physical silver. All you Bitcoin people, great time to swap Bitcoin for physical silver. Wait for physical silver to do what it needs to do. It needs to go to at least a 7 to 1 ratio, probably at least 3 to 1 because most of that's used in industrial, and then 1 to 1 because there's about 6 billion ounces of each above ground. I mean, even if gold stays where it is, I don't think it will. I think gold will double or triple. But silver is like gold on steroids. And it should be because they've been they don't care about gold. The bankers want gold to go up because they own most of it. They don't want silver to go up because that is the Achilles heel of the banking cabal. That destroys their whole game. So buy as much silver, stick it away. And watch that silver gold price ratio. I think it's like 85 or 90 to 1. Probably 90 to 1 now that they slammed silver 3% in the last hour. Um, it's going to go from 90 to 1 down to 60 to 1, down to 40 to 1, 30 to 1, 20 to 1. And remember, we have used up and consumed all that silver since the industrial age began in the early 1900s. So the, the historical price of you know 10 or 15 to 1 is no longer valid. All that silver is gone. The true gold-silver ratio should be about 1 to 1. I think it'll overshoot. I think it'll go 1 to 10. One ounce of silver buys you 10 ounces of gold, and you'll still be wanting to trade your gold for silver if you have gold. So why not do it at and get 90 ounces of gold, uh, 90 ounces of silver for that one ounce of gold? I know it seems absolutely out of control but that's the reality when you rig a price for 170 years that's what you're going to get when that rig job is over when the comic shuts down which should be soon when the comic shuts down lbma stops delivering because there's no more physical and india and china keep wanting to buy it that's when it happens that's when we win the game so make sure you get as much silver in your own possession um, go to your local coin shop you don't have a local guy that you trust, contact Miles Franklin. Send Andy an email, info, I-N-F-O, at milesfranklin.com. See what he's got in the inventory. See how fast he's, he can get it to you. They take cryptos. Miles Franklin takes cryptos for silver. Contact him about cryptos. You can swap Bitcoin for a whole bunch of silver. Silver is the play right now. 170 years of price oppression does not end slowly and, oh, my goodness, we, we broke over $30. Rustin Benham got freaked out about $30 silver a couple years back because he knew there's no stopping it after that. The next 50 will be a bump in the road, just a bump in the road, like a knife through butter it goes, and then it's free sailing. It's blue skies everywhere because silver has never been above $50 an ounce. 
Imagine how much money's been printed since 1980 when it hit $50 an ounce. And it didn't naturally come back down. You got to remember that. The Hunt brothers, it wasn't like they wanted to sell all their positions. The government changed the rules. There was nothing natural about the, the price. There has been nothing natural about the price of silver forever. And that's why I take as ex exception to guys like Metals Focus. Here's their latest. Now, listen to what they say. We knew it was coming because of the structure of the, um, the commercials going short into the rise in the price of silver. It's been the same thing. But do you think that Metals Focus, the, the expert in the industry, would say that? They don't even believe in silver market manipulation even after, what, uh, probably eight banks have already admitted to it. And they don't believe it's happening. I, I was shocked when he said that, the head of the Metals Focus. And here's what they just put out. Downside pressure on silver could resume in the short term. Well, that, that was a no-brainer if you looked at the Commitment of Traders report. But that was the only thing. That was the only thing you needed to look at. But listen to how they explain it. Following a relatively subdued start to the year, silver prices broke out to the upside in March on the back of improving investor interest. From $21.93 in late January, silver surged 16% to three-month highs at $25.44 in mid-March. While the rally has since lost momentum, prices are still holding near $25. Okay, that's you, know, that you can look and that's exactly what happened. Much of the recent investment flows into silver were fueled by a dramatic rally in gold prices. That is not true. That's not true at all. Look at India. Massive amounts of silver got imported in January and February. Massive amounts. Why didn't they say that right off the bat? The sharp rise in the gold-silver ratio in early 2024 attracted some speculative interest on bets that the white metal would eventually recoup lost ground against gold. A rebound in the base metal sector led by copper prices seems to have also spilled onto other industrial commodities, with technical indicators turning bullish. Trending, trend, trend following purchases of silver were also improved. Anything but the truth. Basically, they'll say anything but the truth. That said, here it comes. We would caution that the recent rally in precious metals does appear to be overextended. <laughs> it's only overextended because the commercials, this tiny, tiny cadre of criminals who collude together and have been proven and shown to collude together are still colluding together. That's exactly what the Fed just said and the OCC said about J.P. Morgan. They continued to do it with no compliance. As highlighted in our recently released five-year silver forecast quarterly, I haven't seen that. If it's a, I, I sent an email to me. Is it a paid product? Is that something for everybody? I don't, I don't know, um, but I'll try to get my hands on it. If you guys have it, send it over to me. Um, in the short term, silver remains vulnerable to profit-taking. It's not profit-taking. It, it, it's commercials rigging the market up, down, and sideways. With stubbornly high inflation and a resilient U.S. economy, I mean, that just makes you throw up in your mouth. Uh, uncertainty about the timing and the extent of central bank easing is likely to persist well into 2024. If anything, there is gr a growing risk that the Fed will signal a slightly more hawkish tone in the near term. They did not do that, by the way. As such, these factors will continue to underpin the firmer dollar and yields. <laughs> this is just hogwash. Without a fresh economic catalyst, some speculative investors may decide to book profits, which will affect, the, affect silver as well as gold. There is only one thing that affects the price of silver and the price of gold, and that is the positioning on the comics of that criminal market. That's all. That's it. So, why didn't you say anything about it? I mean, if you're going to seriously be an analyst, and supposedly the best analyst in silver... The first thing you start with is the commercials are rigging the market up, down, and sideways. They always win. How do they always win? By dumping billions of ounces of electronic silver on all the markets around the world, high frequency trading their way to merriment going up and going down. They control the price with computers and derivatives run out of the Vinny Viola's company, Virtu Financial, as well as other trading companies. They collude together. They collude with the U.S. Treasury. They collude with the Federal Reserve. That is the answer to why silver goes up, down, or sideways. And that's why silver is not allowed to go quite yet. 
So the key for you is, when do I buy? Well, let's take a look at where we are on the moving averages. Here we go. We're way above the moving averages, as I talked about before. This is These moving averages is where they want to push the price down to. Because they think at those moving averages, all the tech traders will finally start to sell. And then they can cover their shorts. It's the same game that's been going on for at least since the 1970s. And it's a con. There's nothing fair market value about what's going on in silver. And they are all also massively susceptible to destruction. The good thing is every time there's a slam in the price of silver, India buys. And India will not stop buying. They're buying on the IIBX, the newly opened exchange. They have discounts that they buy it through the UAE, United Arab Emirates. And that's exactly what's going on. Just that's the India side. On China, they're using all that to make solar panels. They're, they're, I can't even imagine how much silver is being imported into China. And I'll guarantee you that a massive amount of futures on the COMEX, SLV is getting whitewashed. They have to, Ted Butler just talked about, they're having to deposit silver, then pull it out, deposit, pull it out. Deposit, pull it out, because it's all going to Asia, all going to India, all going to China. Because the West, we deserve it. Truthfully, we deserve to have no silver. We've been running with this damn silver rigging operation for so long. Yeah. Say goodbye to your, you know, when, when the monetary system falls apart, everybody's going to put their arms around their own country and say, okay, what do we have? What do we make that we can give to our people? There'll be no global trade. None at all. That's the road to root it. I mean, it's, it's trade will stop until some many years later. So what are we going to do without new cell phones, new flat screen TVs, new electric cars? We got no silver. We're going to have to open up all those silver mines that they've shut shut down. And you, know, you buy some property in Coeur d'Alene. It's one of the biggest silver mining places everywhere. I love that place, by the way. Because that's where all the action is going to be, all the gold and silver areas. Southern California, Chocolate Mountain area, the, the all around the Grand Canyon, obviously. You want to move someplace where the, the, the money and the attention are going to go for the next 10, 20 years? Move to a mining town. I know, the government doesn't let you mine in the United States right now, but we've been saving it in the ground for this very time. Would We'd rather use everybody else's silver, everybody else's gold. Especially gold. We have massive amounts of gold in the ground in the United States of America. Billions of tons. Sorry. Millions of tons. Billions and billions and billions of ounces. And we've known it since the early 1900s. I've talked about it a zillion times. Millions of tons. Not the 200,000 200, tons that has ever been mined that guys like Jeffrey Christian will tell you. Or Metals Focus will tell you. That's just not true. It's not factual. Read Sterling and Peggy Seagrave's book, Gold Warriors. You'll understand a little more about the Asia gold. Read all my reports on the Grand Canyon gold. Read uh, the gold, the article on Chocolate Mountain, where they locked it up in a military uh, reserve after they found this massive amount of gold. And now where is it? It's in a military base <laughs> in Southern California. Diane Feinstein locked that up. 41% of the California gold country is locked up by the federal government. There's no mining there. Why? Why did they do that? It's obvious. Why not use... People are taking these little blips called fiat dollars. Why not use everybody else's precious resources? Use ours last. When they stop trading with us, that's exactly what's coming. So load up on the things you need. And if you have any wealth left, put it in silver and certain cryptos. Who knows what the cryptos are going to do during the crash? Well, the exchanges won't be open, so who knows what they'll be worth, right? <laughs> I mean, if the banks are closed, obviously, the exchanges are closed. No people who love XRP, it ain't going to work out for you. Uh, unless, you know, unless the bankers get their way, and then, yeah, maybe XRP might have a shot. But, I, I mean, it, it was a con set up by a couple ex-bankers. I mean, to the thought that they'd give the power over to people who have XRP— when, I mean, J.P. Morgan already said, you know, we could do, we can create the exact same token as XRP. Anybody can. The Federal Reserve can. So, 
yeah. Crazy days, crazy days. That's what I got for you right now. Um, how long will this last? It, that's easy. Just keep an eye on the commitment of traders report. And when the uh, when the commercials can't push it down any farther without going, they don't short as it's going down. They only short as it's going up. They'll try little bits in here, here and there, but they're searching for the weak hands to sell so that they can cover their shorts. And it's all laid out in black and white every week in the commitment of traders report, except the CFTC, the, the only regulator, seems not to know how to read it. Anyway, um, what else? Again, Bitcoin took a little hit back up to 66, 67,000. Um, with the slam in silver, I'd say good time to buy some silver with cryptos. Again, contact Andy Sheckman at Miles Franklin. Send them an email, info, I-N-F-O, at milesfranklin.com, and they'll set you up, and you can pay with crypto. Do it. Um, Theta, great time to buy Theta. All you people who are pissed off that they didn't buy Theta when it hit $3.50, there you go again. I buy on the dips. Again, it dipped down to like two fifty. Very volatile, uh, but Theta is the future, the future of almost everything. Uh, I do think Ethereum will be gone. I think uh, Theta does the exact same thing with the exact same ERC-20 in programming language that Ethereum used. That's why people always get all screwed up. But when I sent my, my Theta to an Ethereum wallet, well, the addresses are the same in Theta and in Ethereum. It's confusing. And the people have asked, why did they do that? Why did they use the Ethereum programming language to set up Theta? And I think they knew, or some somebody within Theta knew, that um, Ethereum wasn't going to last. I, I'm trying to transfer on Ethereum now. It's like seven, eight bucks to do a single transfer. It's ridiculous. On Theta, it's 0.3 T fuel, which is currently about a, what is that, about a penny? Versus eight bucks per transfer. I mean, if you have a lot of transactions, like they're going to need an AI, T Fuel is the best thing to use for that. And if you're running your company on Ethereum, your your crypto company on Ethereum, you're out of business if you have to do a lot of transactions. Data does it in a blink of an eye, but they won't say that. They don't want to say that. They're they're, they're going to hug everybody. They got so many partners coming out there. It's all about AI now. Uh, just had an announcement that they're working um, with NVIDIA on something, which is crazy. Yeah, that same NVIDIA, the AI company that went to over a trillion dollars in a blink of an eye. Um, if, you, if you want to be involved in the future, get yourself Theta, Theta Fuel. I don't know about T-Drop. It's, it's kind of, you know, that's for the NFTs. I, I I understand the NFTs very well. I don't. I'm not a, a the Beanie Baby part of it. I'm not you know collectibles and all that. And I'm not that far. I'm not into it. People are, but I'm not. Uh, but the functionality of having uh, the the uh, the timestamp, for example, on every transaction is unbelievable. You can you can put uh, one of my songs. I can copyright a song. On to the Theta blockchain using um, T-Drop, I think, yeah. Um, yeah, fractionalization of assets can be done there. Again, there are overlaps with Reggie's patent, of course, in Theta. Um, everybody overla overlaps Reggie's patent. Um, listening to BlackRock the other day, Larry Fink, say that they, they, they have the technology to uh, digitize assets on the blockchain. You don't have the technology because you don't own the rights to it. It's already been patented by Reggie Middleton. <laughs> it's crazy that people don't know that. Anyway, um, yep, you want to join the private road, road, road. Oh, by the way, the uh, Sean at SGT interviews up, and um, go check that one out. Stuff I can't talk about at on YouTube. If you're listening to this on YouTube, go to roadtoroot.com. Make sure you subscribe. Free updates on the left side. Um, that's the free public road. And then if you go, if you want private road, we're currently giving away one Veritasium token. Uh, and Cliff does have this token in his data going more than the price of Bitcoin. At When he first said that, everyone was scratching their heads saying, what is he talking about? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. 
And then all of a sudden, they, they approve Reggie's patent for peer-to-peer -peer capital markets. And it's like, holy shit. Now I get why <laughs> Veritasium might go well above the price of Bitcoin. If, if Reggie helps the United States gov government digitize all the exchanges, no more need. There's no need for J.P. Morgan. There's no need for Merrill Lynch. There's no need for Schwab or Fidelity uh, when you have peer-to-peer -peer transactions. And that's what Reggie invented and that's what Larry Fink was talking about the other day, but he either doesn't know that Reggie has the patent or is trying not to think about that part of it. <laughs> anyway, we're giving away one very token with every one-year subscription. Go check it out. This is Big Swear. I'll talk to you later.